Hello. So I have uh, something that I constantly have to work on with color correction where I might take a picture with my digital camera and I have the white balance set to auto instead of setting it to the specific lighting. And in this particular case, this picture was taken under fluorescent lights. And sometimes you get that kind of yellowish green hue to stuff. Um, and pretty much you want to do a color correction, white balance thing that uh, just applies to really almost anything. Uh, and I'm going to show you an easy way that I do to correct this. So uh, to start, I've opened up one of my JPEG images. It shows up in Photoshop. This is Photoshop's uh, Creative Cloud 2017. You get your one single locked layer. Um, so if we go down to the right, and we're just going to create a brand new layer. All right, so we have layer one. Uh, it's just an empty layer on top of our image. Uh, what I do is go up to edit and go to fill. And you got a few different options under this menu. It's at 50% gray, because that was one of the last things that I did. But choose 50% gray, click OK. So now you've got an empty layer that is filled with 50% gray. Uh, from the blending, menu, uh, change from normal to difference. And you get kind of this negative looking effect, which is what we're actually going for. Um, so if you don't already have your adjustments uh, control panel here, you can find all your control panels under window and just check adjustments and it'll show up over here. So you've got your threshold adjustments. It's what looks like little blocky lines going across and you have where it says new threshold adjustment layer. Click on that. And what you get is a chart here with a little white arrow underneath it. And you can click and drag this arrow. And what you want to do is move it to the left till you start to see most of your picture turn white with just certain sections of it that still remain black. Those are the ones that are closest to 50% uh, gray that we're looking for. So get it almost to the left till you only see a few black sections left. And just let go. And that's what you've got. So all of these black areas are uh, diffused portions of different versions of true gray. So from here, uh, if you go over to the left side where you've got the color sample thing, uh, if you click on it and you've got two options, eyedropper tool and color sampler, choose color sampler and then let go of the mouse. Uh, all these black sections are your closest to 50% gray that we're wanting to click within our threshold. So I'm going to click over here on one of these really big black areas. So that's my color sample of a gray area that I want to uh, sample from the actual picture. Okay. So at this point, um, I'm going to hide both of these layers. So we don't actually see the threshold or the gray layer, but we still know that that's an area that's closest to our 50% uh, gray, our little marker is right there. So now, under the same adjustments, go to the one that's like a little line graph that you have where it says curves. So I'm going to create a new curves layer. And I've got my thing here where you would normally maybe drag like a, a bar to try to do like a straight curves, like correcting, which isn't always as accurate. I know that's my 50% gray sample spot. So you've got your white, gray, and black sample tools here. I'm going to select the gray one, and I'm going to click on that exact same spot. And it adjusts the curves to match that to my 50% gray, and applies the rest of the image just like how I wanted it. So that's pretty much how I do my white balance and instant color correcting for uh, images that have just random hues that just kind of take over the whole picture, usually from lighting and stuff. So uh, hopefully that helps. Um, and there you go.